Good evening, viewers. I'm Xander, and this is Inhumane Facts. Our top story is the continuation and explosive revelations in the ongoing hearings examining the relationship between Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. Miss Yerdy, um, you have personal knowledge that Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade began their romantic relationship soon after this. The first day of witness testimony revealed conflicting accounts about the timeline of their romantic involvement. A former friend of Ms. Willis, Robin Brian Tierty, claimed that the two started their relationship earlier than they admitted. However, Mr. Wade vehemently denied these allegations during his testimony. It, this, it, it, it is a lie. It We're is gonna, a lie. Right, Ms. Willis, you see. Mr. Sena, thank you. We're going to take five minutes. Ms. Willis herself took the stand, forcefully denying any financial benefits from the relationship, rebuffing suggestions otherwise. Repeat the question. <clears throat> when you told me that their relationship started when she left the DA's office and was a judge in South Fulton, where did you obtain that knowledge from? On the second day of testimony, defense lawyers questioned Terrence Bradley, a former law partner of Mr. Wade. Despite hours of questioning, the defense was unable to establish that Mr. Wade was dating Ms. Willis when she hired him. In a court filing, lawyers for former President Donald J. Trump presented phone records allegedly showing extensive communication between Ms. Willis and Mr. Wade. However, Ms. Willis's office refuted the analysis, stating that the records do not prove Mr. Wade's presence at any specific location. Recently obtained text messages revealed that Mr. Bradley assisted the defense in exposing the relationship between the two prosecutors. This contradicted his earlier testimony, raising questions about his knowledge of the romance. Hours ago, a judge heard final arguments on whether Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade should be removed from the 2020 election interference case. During final arguments, defense lawyers argued for Ms. Willis's disqualification, citing the appearance of a conflict of interest. However, Ms. Willis's lawyer countered that only an actual conflict should warrant such action. Today, a judge in Georgia ruling Fonnie Willis can remain as prosecutor in Donald Trump's election interference case. Trump's lawyers accused Willis of benefiting financially from hiring prosecutor Nathan Wade to her team, creating a conflict of interest. Willis said that wasn't true. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. In a recent ruling, the judge allowed Ms. Willis to remain on the case, but required Mr. Wade to withdraw. The decision, while keeping Ms. Willis involved, criticized her behavior and further delays the trial, likely pushing it past the 2024 presidential election. This case continues to captivate the galaxy with its twists and turns. Stay tuned to Inhumane Facts for the latest updates on this unfolding drama. That's all for tonight. I'm Xander, signing off.